Hey guys, what's up? Clydesdale Chris here. Today I'm going to show you a technique to deal with a bad situation that many of us bikers have faced at one time or another. The annoying squeaky disc brake. So, this is a little bit of black magic. Uh, there's a lot of techniques that people use to rid the disc brake systems of today's bikes of squeaks and annoying noises. Um, I'm going to show you guys a lesser known technique that's been pretty successful i've used it on a number of bikes and a number of different braking systems uh shimano haze avid uh etc um and it's been pretty successful um first things first though word of warning you're going to do this at your own risk um, i've used it on a number of bike braking systems successfully but i certainly haven't tried every braking system known to man under every conceivable brake condition so um it works for me go ahead and give it a try if you'd like and see if it uh it works for you if other traditional methods have failed you another caveat as well uh this technique i'm about to show you is really only going to be effective if your brake system is not contaminated so if you go down and you look at your your brake rotor or your caliper and you see that it's covered either with brake fluid or with shock oil uh, i would just recommend getting new pads and starting over because uh, you're probably going to be wasting your time with just about any technique you want to use to try to eliminate the squeal uh, once they're contaminated with something then it's really there's, there's not much you can do at that point uh, but this bike I have today here, my friend's Trek. Uh, it has a very basic low-end Shimano hydraulic system on it. Seems to be a good candidate. So the brakes themselves don't look like they've been contaminated with anything. The rotors aren't overly worn. Um, I think we'll be able to, to get rid of the squeak here. So uh, here's my buddy's Niner Jet 9 Carbon beautiful bike. Uh, just a couple days ago, I was able to use this technique to get rid of the squeal on his brakes, which are, let's see here, Avid XOs. So, successful case right here. Uh, I should have videotaped it then, but you know what? I wasn't thinking about it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try with my buddy's Trek, and let's see if we can fix it up. That's pretty bad. Super annoying. So, first things first, you're going to want to prep the rotor beforehand you're going to do this by cleaning it so um i'm going to work one brake at a time so i'm going to start on the front because that's the one giving us the most problems here so the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the wheel completely from the fork i'm going to remove that sticker while we're at it here it should have been done when the bike was originally sold to him but it wasn't Okay, so, as I said before, the rotor does look to be fairly clean and contaminant-free. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean it first. So, my cleaning method of choice is going to be isopropyl alcohol. You can uh, use automotive brake cleaner, but definitely be cautious with this stuff. It's super aggressive. And on some uh, stickers or painted surfaces on bicycles, you could take that stuff right off with brake cleaner. So any overspray or any dribbles you get with brake cleaner, um, you're at your own risk. <laughs> you might end up kind of uh, changing the finish on your wheels or your, you know, whatever. So um, I would not recommend using that if you have something more suitable like this. So go ahead, just get a little bit wet. Dribble some on our rag here. And... All right. Make sure you hit both sides. And voila, we have a clean rotor. So the basis of this technique is actually utilizing this spray here, which is commercially available. I've seen it on Amazon. I actually purchased it at a automotive supply shop, but uh, this particular blend is CRC D-Squeak. And this is a spray-on compound or spray-on spray. And it's really kind of a gritty metallic, almost a lapping fluid. And what you're doing is uh, you spray this stuff directly onto the rotor and you're going to go out and you're going to kind of grind it. You can use the brake pads to grind it into the rotor surface. And what this is going to do is kind of accelerate the 
bedding of the rotor so the the grittiness is going to really smooth out any sort of um, let's say irregularities in the disc it's going to clean off any contaminants in an accelerated rate and some of the softer compounds in that that gritty uh, spray is actually going to work its way into the rotor so um, it's designed for cars but you know what i've had good success with this stuff on bikes so we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see what's going to happen here okay now that our rotor's clean shake this stuff up really good because you've got a significant percentage of solids in this thing and you want to get that evenly distributed so once you're well shaken up what you're going to want to do is lightly spray the d-squeak directly onto the surface of the rotor and you want to get yourself kind of a thin but even you can see the results from my uh, work on it my buddy's niner over there um you're gonna get yourself a nice even spray or a nice even coating on the rotor so there we go so on one side you can see hopefully up close with the camera you can see how metallic it is and how glittery so that's what's really gonna work its way into the rotor and help smooth it out for us. Hitting the back side is a little bit tricky because you gotta go around the spokes. Don't worry about a little bit of overspray in the spokes. You can wipe it off with no ill effects. There we go. So now we have a nice coating front and rear. What you're gonna do next is put the wheel back on the bike and we're gonna use the brake system to mechanically grind this paste into the rotor surface. How are we going to do that? Well, it's going to be a workout. We're going to get on the bike and we are going to hold the brake and we're going to pedal. So uh, that is kind of the upside. You're going to burn some calories and work on your legs a little bit while you're fixing your bike. So let's get this back in. And as you will quickly see, the first few times or the first time that we're going to ride the bike and apply the brakes and work this compound in, it's going to squeal probably worse than it did before so be forewarned it doesn't mean you did something wrong it's totally normal um, as you're working this stuff into the brakes it's going to squeal a lot but what you're going to find is as you wear it in and the contaminants bake their way off and the rotor gets hot the squealing is going to go away until if we're lucky it's going to be completely gone all right, this is trickier than it should be with a camera on my head, but here we go. So, back on. Lightly touch the brake, spin it around a little bit. And now here comes the fun part. We are going to get on the bike. We're already in the granny gear. It's probably where you want to be unless you've got massive legs and huge watts. Ah. <sighs> This is going to annoy every dog within a couple block radius. All right. So I'm going to apply light pressure to the brakes. And you can see it's squealing. But you're going to keep holding that pressure, if not increasing it slightly. And we're going to get it up to temperature. We're going to get it real hot. Here it's changing pitch. And here the squealing actually starting to go away now. It's getting quieter. As it gets quieter, what you want to do is apply more braking pressure and get more heat into it. Right now I'm starting to sweat because it's an actual workout now. Now I'm at the point where I'm just about at threshold breaking and the squeal is just about gone. Ooh. 
I'm almost out of breath, but there we go. I'm hard on the brakes and no squeal. Whew. I think we got it. Look at that. Perfect. So, careful, as things are good and hot down here now, but these brakes are quiet. We're gonna go ahead, put the bike in the stand, and do the same thing on the rear axle now. Heart rate's at 133, sweet. Same thing on the rear axle. Shift yourself down to the smallest cog. Go ahead and give it a good cleaning. that Now we've got a nice layer coated on there. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in the bike and bed this one in as well. Get rid of this cap. Light application of the brakes, just to spin it around and work the compound in a little bit. And now we're gonna ride it out. Once again, it's going to squeal in the beginning. Don't be alarmed. Shift it down to a low gear. Start applying pressure and pedal. And as the squealing starts to go away, you'll want to increase the pressure on the brake lever. And when it gets to the point where you're pretty much at maximum braking and the squealing starts to go away, that's when you know you're just about done. There we go. Whew. 
little bit more there. All right, mission accomplished. Oh, we got some smoke. That's when you know you have the system good and hot. Don't be afraid of a little bit of smoke and smell. Just to make sure that you've baked all of the contaminants off. And there we go. So, it worked on this bike. Pretty happy with the results. The braking power and bite is actually greatly improved too. So it's not just about the noise. The brakes just weren't working as well as it could. So now with a freshly refinished rotor, you're gonna notice that the uh, initial bite from the brake application is a bit grippier. So, super. One final note, once you're all done, uh, you'll wanna take a rag and wipe off any overspray that you might have on your spokes or anything. Um, stuff is no big deal. It doesn't permanently stain or anything. It's pretty easy to wipe off just for aesthetic sake. Super happy with the results. If that technique works for you, go ahead and leave a comment below or share it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is a new channel. I'm gonna go ahead and populate it with riding videos, racing videos, couple tips, tricks, do-it-yourself type stuff. Whatever, we'll see what happens. Um, if you got any suggestions or you wanna see something, I got a question for me, go ahead and send me a note or drop a comment below and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. So, this is Clydesdale Chris, thanks for watching and uh, coming back at you again with another one soon, thank you.